Hi, we're going to do a little bit of a, a formula here. What we want to happen is whatever happens here, we want the pictures to correspond to that. Oh, I'm going to be a little too close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name a couple of ranges. Let's do it under G. So we're going to call this pick, pick one. I'm going to call this one picked two. And this one is going to be picked three. All right. So what we're going to do is just copy these guys over. And let's try and make them. You know, you can do some work with that. You can actually go in here and set the sizes, whatever. But I'm just going to go here. We just don't want it to be too big. This one's kind of the bigger one. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just make this as big as possible. See how that's a little bigger than that? I'm going to delete these. I'm going to go up here and just copy this range. So these are all the same. See, oh, I see what's happening. One cell is a little bigger than all the others. Okay, so we're going to do a little table here for our VLOOKUP formula. So I just copy that, put it over there, and now we're going to enter those named ranges again. Pick to one. Go down here, boom. Okay, so now we're going to say equals VLOOKUP. We're going to, and you see, if you hit this insert function thing, it'll actually uh, help you with your thing. So you want to look up this value. You want to do it in this table array, and we can also hit F4, and it'll be absolute. So when we drag down the formula, it'll always be the same. We want the second column. And we want to have this as false. All right. And then we just drag the formula down, and it'll always change accordingly. Right. So if this was actually GH, it would end up being pick 2. So now, what I want to do is define a range. So we're going to use a formula to define name. So we're going to name a formula. Get pick one refers to indirect equals in direct. And then we're going to hit this and see how it becomes absolute, puts, puts those dollar signs on it, and then close the bracket. Do the same again, define name. This time it's going to be called get pick two. Same thing. Equals in direct. Select here. Close the bracket. And I'm going to do it again. Get pick three. equals in direct and select F3 close the bracket okay so now we go in here and like select and select your inside this picture you go to the formula box and it equals get and see there's get pick one you can double click it Hit enter. Right on. You can size it because it's whatever. So if your formula says GH, it'll actually change to GH or Q plus. 
Let's change the Q plus. So if you do the same thing with this, equals, get pick two, enter. And of course the same thing. It's, we just have different size things. Here, equals, get pick three. There we go. Okay, so same thing. The formula was actually GH. Or G's QC, I should say. Or Q plus. That's how it's done. I'm going to leave the name manager up here on this screen so you can zoom in on it and stuff just to see the formula better. Thanks.